AI art and chat GPT can be used to create unique and creative web design by combining the power of artificial intelligence and human input. With AI art, you can generate visually stunning graphics, patterns, and images. While ChatGPT can be used to generate text content and provide suggestions for website layouts and design elements. So hey everyone, you are already watching Simply Learn, and today we bring you this informative video on ChatGPT for UI and UX. Before we begin, if these are the videos you like to watch, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. Without any further delay, to get started, you can experiment with different AI art tools to generate graphics and use ChatGPT to write website copy, create a content strategy, and provide feedback on design elements. It's important to keep in mind that while AI can help to generate ideas and create stunning visuals, I'm going to show you exactly how you can generate these yourself. Websites are going to be built with AI art as well as tools like ChatGPT in future. So in this video, I'm going to explain the whole process and we are going to have it write the entire website layout for us, all the content, the hero section and feature section and much more. This means that we can build the entire website from the ground up without writing a single line of code. And this will be a pretty damn good. All right, we will start with the mid journey. In Google search, we will write mid journey. This is an AI tool that allows you to create the AI art that we are now seeing all over the web to go to this. You just go to the midjourney.com and join the beta. It's easy to get started because all you really have to do is join the Discord. When you do this, it will open up the Discord community which you can accept the terms and conditions and start creating your own AI arts. Let's do this now. Here I have got the mid journey server and I'm going to head over to one of the newcomer room here and, and where everyone is creating different types of AI art. The first thing we need to do is uh, to do a forward slash and type in an imagine give us prompt work. We can uh, request the AI, any type of art we are after here. I'm going to type uh, in a beautiful website for shoe. Then I'm going to pass in dash dash V4, which means uh, the version 4 of the mid journey of AI art tool. Finally, I'm going to pass it in style, stylized. I'll do dash dash stylize. It's basically how random we want to be in uh it's in between zero to thousand and I'm just going to set it to about five hundred, which is average. So I will do the enter. It will take a little bit of time. Here this will start working in the background. It's going to generate a low fidelity version of the website and the design for this art. And this low fidelity version will be iteratively updated to be higher in resolution. These four examples then can be picked from and then we can upscale them as well as uh, let's have a look at what kind of results we get now. One thing uh, to notice here is that we do get a bit of a loading percentage bar and this is how long it takes for the actual AI to generate the image. Uh, usually it takes between 1 to 2 minutes but it will essentially refresh and ping you once it's complete. So here is it is complete and here are the 4 versions that we got which are not too bad, uh, not that great either. Uh, they are a bit, uh, yeah I suppose it's looking uh, funny in a way. So this is a way we can start being more creative with our prompts. So what I mean that uh, is by giving more context as to what we want to do. So here is a prompt that we have created. What I'm gonna do is to pass it in the imagine once more. And I paste this prompt in this and I'm going to give some more context. I'm going to pass it to the word UI, UI, choose UI, UX, UI, UX, website. This basically means that it's more or less focused on having good UI and good at UX and being more like a website rather than just a creative shoot. Or a design and it's important to give these context clues to the AI if you want better outputs 
different types of uh, context clues you can provide is to find a kind of style that you want uh, for uh, for example um, how you want the design to look and feel whether you want it to represent a certain brand or much much more like these are just simple examples but let's take a look at the kind of results we will get just from making these small little changes to the design here here you can already see uh oh wait a minute uh, look it's a little bit more interesting we have a bit of our sliders and what looks more like a nike shoes and also have uh, uh what looks like a menu at the top and and i really like this uh design uh, that we have here on the bottom and here it is because it does look very much like a website that we have got a bit for a hero section or a hero set section and what's not so from here we can select the version one uh so from here uh we can select uh the version one two three uh four to upscale and i'm going to upscale version three where which is u3 and this will give us the higher resolution version of this one particular design that we can uh, that we can start to take uh, to the market or even you can use to build this again uh, will take a little bit of time it's going to process this and uh, to do and you can upscale in data and let's run this in the background so that you can see uh, uh wait a minute this again will take a little bit of time to process it's going to process this and do an unscale or upscale in beta and let's run this in the background so that you can guys see what's the look so here is the final result and this is looking uh, pretty and we have got the nice design here for a shoe uh, we have got a bit of a hero section and we also have what looks uh, like a two call to actions and we got some option here to at the very bottom and as well as at the top we have got these colors and that essentially are looking like these shoes colors being used as a part of the website design so not too shoppy uh, let's select uh, the another one let's see for yeah uh, but I think we can do a little bit more um, in terms of customization the design for this website and I'm going to show you how you can do this I'm going to copy over this uh, prompt once and for this prompt this time I'm going to pass a uh, couple of extra things so let me just uh, maximize this we are going to type um, as I have uh, pasted that URL over here so I'm gonna pass uh, in the context clues of like uh, clues of nike because nike made obviously website shoes so also uh, so we'll write it here nike not here repeat and i also uh, want it to be red blue green and or uh, maybe uh, yellow and i suppose uh, we want to uh, else uh, running person would be interesting person sorry person uh, it would be interesting to see how that gets designed uh, and I think that this should be enough. Let's actually improve the styling here. Uh, one minute. Let's change the styling. Let's let's have it 750 uh, to make it a little bit more creative. And here are the results. I don't have a running person. But I do have a website that has definitely started using the colors that i recommended uh, with journeys ai art systems to use so these website designs look way more creative than we had previously still we have this slider design 
these website designs look way more creative than we had previously we still have this slider design here at the bottom section where we can pick out different shoes but even these shoes look damn cool i can see that the nike logo on these and these are actually ones that i would probably buy if i saw in the nike store but generally uh, these also are website because we have got the menus here at the top of the right uh, we got the text so generally speaking uh, these are pretty interesting interesting designs so now i have another option here called version one two three four what this does is actually allow you to pick uh, more generations uh, based on uh, actual image from these images or these designs now from these design i actually like the trail three and four i think it is most i think four because uh it teals and red or uh, it's a bit yellow or blue so i'm going to select the version um four and that's going to create a uh, four more version based on the specific version for us let's take a look at the what those that we got and here we have got our results uh where we have more examples of that all of these looks very similar i think the only difference here is uh blue line a uh, red line it seems to be shift and change as well as a hero section and uh, you would normally have this menu at the top right and something these shoes here are a little bit inverted but generally speaking this is the kind of variations you can expect so now let's take a look at another way we can generate our generations for website now you can do is just uh, jump into any website and select any image so first we will go to an app and website and you can uh, select any image that you would like and i will actually go on here and i'm going to pull in this image of this shoe and uh, but i do like the design aesthetics uh, here we are going to here and then we can copy the url from here but this time what i'm going to do is type the imagine imagine then i'm going to pass uh, in the url what we have copy uh, we will paste it here again i'm going to write we did it before we'll copy this paste it over here so what's going to happen here it's uh it's going to have a look at this image that we have defined in, in terms of the URL, it's going to use this as a reference point. Then it's uh, going to take a look at the prompt we have put in, which is the shoe prompt using the colors. And it's going to try to design a website that has a similar aesthetics to that image, which is really cool. Let's see the result we get back. Looks like uh, that's ready uh, let's take a look at this so here you can see that the design is statics uh, wait a minute static uh, that is uh, similar to the page seen in this one so this is more bubbly and colorful image and now are represented very much so in this design aesthetics uh, we have these four elements here at the bottom and if you have a look at the design originally uh, we had four elements here so you can see that it's pulling in these design aesthetics to create a design based on that and this is where you can really start using the air art repeat using the air tool to your own benefits trying to combine different styles customizing them and creating new and independent and unique ones from there so in this four i'm really like uh uh the version of fourth one or the second one is uh, pretty so uh, what i'm thinking of doing is an upscale on this so we are going to upscale uh v2 and we are going to wait for that 
uh, one minute is uh, use chat gpt to write out the most of the content for me and then i would i could take this to a client to immediately start sharing so let's see the upscale version happen if we take a uh, closer look we will see that it has all the main elements for a website including a logo area uh, a menu area a nice hero uh, image as well as a title tagline but then as well the feature section uh, so what i'm going to do is to save this image to my computer i'm going to save it and then customize it a little bit but before we do that uh, we are going to head over to a gpt here we're going to prepare the outline for the website using some ai tools so here i'm going to ask chat gpt to give me the broad broad outline for a website for shoes including hero title tagline <clears throat> call to action button and section for features and details about the shoe so let's see what chargeability will comes back with um it's pretty quick uh, it's got a title here call to action button features and detail section and it's not really telling me what these are these are uh, where we might need to be a bit more specific as to what we wanted to do it's giving me uh it's giving me like broad outline of the website and what it needs so please i will write please provide then for each one of these that i can copy paste straight to the website um hero title is here tagline call to action buttons features okay and the details okay detail specification is there okay reviews and rating okay so i think i have got enough hairs to go by to simply copy paste in the website so let's start beginning to design this i have opened this design up in the photoshop and i'm going to actually just crop it into the main element over here and i really want to capture this image and i will crop it and i will clear out the rest and we can design each aspects or each part of this design bit by bit i will save it over here it's time to build our website so i'm gonna head over to editor x and i'm going to build this uh, a website in this and i have plugin already and then i will create to a new site and here i will take an uh, to a web uh, dashboard and i'm going to start by copy paste, copy paste all the elements from chat gpt as well as mid journey straight in the first thing and i want to jump back into the chat gpt here and copy over our hero text so i will just take it first And I'm going to tab add title and I'm going to paste it over here. And then I'm also going to grab the tagline, but before I will make it sure to keep it over here. But before that, I will first I will put one image over here. I will change the image as I have already uh, downloaded the image. 
let's upload that image we'll open it and let's wait to get uploaded yeah it's uploaded and now we will update it and let's make it big in size okay so we will we will change the size but first i will remove this i will change the size for this i will make it little small next i will add the icon for uh for the company of the shoes that we i am going to make a website for i will add this and i will update it make it small and this will be the taskbar but make the size uh, small a bit and we'll insert one more picture And it will be the logo of the company that we are going to put over here. We will minimize it. We can resize it. We can keep. Keep the logo over here. Now next, uh, then I'm going also going to grab the tagline over here. So I'll quickly, I'll pick this tag. I will add the text. Comes up over here. Okay, I'll make it small in size. And we will paste our and finally, let's uh, grab a call to action which says shop. create a button a button for that so so here we have all the workings of what we are uh, at least what we would need at least so for for the content uh, let's resize this first now we will add uh, we need to add the image itself so instead of just having a browser stock images or anything like that we actually had our images either done inside of the photoshops that we have done before as uh, from the mid journey as well as so i'm going to just drag the image and i'm going to change the image um, it should be here. I've already downloaded it. No, I have to upload it. I have a collection of some shoes. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
and I will just install one. I'll upload this picture. It will take a bit of time. Let's wait for a while. And once it's uploaded, we will we will update it. Let's keep it like this or we can So uh, we change our content place from that to make it a fix in a place. So here we can change this also. Appraisal. So basically have this text uh, happening a little bit more We have seen how we can resize it from this scroll bar and So now let's add one more uh, picture over here to make it look more better let's take a picture from here change the image we'll upload from the computer download from We will upload it again. Sorry,
and will update it. Resize it. Let's turn it on. Let's uh, make a taskbar for the top, top most of the uh, screen. We will have a home page, so we will write a text over here. That will be let it make it small, a bit in size. We'll add another text. It it will show about us. It will show about us section. So we'll write it over here. It will be a small little too. Let's make same size. Let's make more small. Alarm. Let's make it more small. Alarm. Okay. Uh, the next next session will be services. The last one is context one section. One more option is there. Uh, that is a start button. Like uh, we are keeping the start button over here, so we will uh, we are keeping this here. So let it be here.
so next uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to select add a section and I'm going to just have a blank section um, here I'm gonna do first I will add a picture first uh, as a background uh, let's do it I will add one picture let's see I have downloaded or not so I have I will not download it. Wait a minute. Uh, let it be upload. I will update it. Let it be a full for a full page. So Let's add the pictures now for another shoes. Here's a picture. I'm going to reopen this. I'll put this. Okay, I'll update it. Added it. Keep the pictures over here like similarly we will upload three pictures over here
after this let's keep it here let's keep this here We are going to add another title over here. We need to We are making it a bit reasonable. We will change the font for this. Let's make this. After this, I, we will start editing the features of the shoes. Let's go to chat GPT. Let's take this first. Paragraph. make it small and we make it bold We will add another paragraph over here. Similarly, we will make it for this also.
and last we will add a contact us last we will add a contact us section over here again So this is the final output of ChatGPT or how we use ChatGPT and AI art for our UI and UX design to create a website or a web page or the land page for the shows. So with this we have come to the end of this session i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you learn and there are some other things still you want to learn let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and like our channel thank you stay tuned to simply learn hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here